What's up friends? It's Dara. We're about to talk about some Hallmark Channel stuff. Specifically, just one kiss. Ah! <laughs> what did I just watch? What did I watch? Oh, this is not the same Hallmark. No, 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 no. <laughs> Yo, I can't even, I can't even talk about the premise because we just got to dive right in. Off the bat, camera quality, I said. What? Wardrobe girls. Jarilyn knocked it right out of the park with the wardrobe. Mia! As an English professor of romantic literature. There we go again. That was our homie Joss in the presence of love. She was a romantic literature professor as well. Oh, and we got our familiar suspect, our work husband from uh, Wedding Veil Legacy. He's our best friend in this. Ugh. Tony Romano! The opening credits came on, right? Instantly, I said, you better sing. Sing me to the moon. Sing me to the moon. This movie was a play to, oh my gosh, with a bowl of, ooh, with like a little dash of, <laughs> and a bit of, <laughs> for real. <laughs> There's so much to say. I'm finna spoil the mess out of this movie, so please. Go watch it. What are you? Why are you still watching me? Go, wa go watch the movie, and then come back, and let's dialogue. What are we doing? Whoa, 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 whoa! First of all, I had an inkling that the mothers were dead. I did. It was confirmed when Mia was looking at the new apartment because no one paid attention to the mom. I was like, because she's like an angel. <laughs> Excuse me, she's not really there. Yeah. And uh, the banter. Oh, 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 are we going to talk about the ex-husband? First of all, the ex-husband is the same actor who played Brett in A Honeymoon to Remember. In A Honeymoon to Remember, his hair was longer. He was looking more like he owned a timeshare. You know what I'm saying? Now, we got homie with a little slick haircut. Gave him a little slickness. And I said, whose man's is this? <laughs> Whose man's is this? He's one of my favorites. He was also in, I forget the name of the Up TV movie, but it was opposite Rhiannon Fish, where she acted like she inadvertently was the wife of someone who was in a coma or something. Like, it was really, really funny. It was really, really cute. But he was in that one too, though he did phenomenally. But back to Just One Kiss. I'm going to be all over the place because this movie just did things to me. This movie, I felt like it was courting me. I felt like it was asking me to dance. Like, you couldn't tell me I wasn't wearing a, a fur coat by the end of this with gloves up to my elbows with jewelry on top. Hello, with sunglasses on. And I was just like, darling, how nice of you to ask me. Thank you. Absolutely. I'll accompany you to the supper club. Absolutely. Uh, Oh gosh. <laughs> I mean, needless to say, the actor was on point. I, oh God. <laughs> I don't know what you, I, there ain't much to say. Go watch the movie. Like, here's, uh, uh, one of my favorite scenes was, um, Tony, when he, Tony was watching both his niece and her daughter, 
and she came back from the art museum show or whatever and they did a little performance ah that was super cute um i loved when he was being all theatrical and dramatic at the at the at the piano because he thought that her ex-husband moved back in with her and so he was just <laughs> He was so extra, and I lived for every minute of it. He was extra and Access Hollywood and easy. <laughs> oh, now here's where we're gonna talk. Okay, because as bomb as this movie is, I was like, "Whoa, this is a different feel," and I'm still conflicted. Like. I hope, and I was talking with a couple of people via DM about this because Just One Kiss felt so new. It felt so, I don't want to use the word modern and progressive or fresh because I feel like that's, it's become like the word the and it's, I feel like it's being overused. But because it ha we're into this new era of Hallmark now, I'm Part of there is still part of me that yearns for that old nostalgic hallmark because there was a reason, like there was something comforting and something there was something it was like a something that wasn't quite quantifiable that you could put a word on or a, a number to that was was so special about our old familiar hallmark. So I'm hoping that. We, we get a nice cocktail of both and that things don't get too new. That's just where I feel like I... Like I was watching Once Upon a Prince the other day and I was like, yo, this movie is just super cute. Like sometimes I really enjoy that cheesy, predictable, cute, you know, something or other. Like... Sometimes I, I really do just want that. First of all, or probably third of all by now, no, they did not put a Lady Gaga reference in here. Not only Lady Gaga, no, did, not only did they use Lady Gaga, they had the nerve to say Ryan Reynolds. I was like, too relevant, Hallmark, too relevant. <laughs> My Hallmark is not supposed to be realistic. <laughs> no. Oh, my ears were tingling. I was like, well, what is this? But let me tell you, darling, <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed all that Just One Kiss had to offer. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I appreciated the black and white sequence of the dreams. I appreciated the, the love of Broadway, the love of the oldies, the classics, the supper club environment. I very much appreciated that. Um, what else did I appreciate? Everything, uh, everything, the daughter, the, the, I mean, it dealt with some hardcore, like, it dealt with some themes that I wasn't expecting in our Hallmark Channel movie because her ex-husband, uh, had some battles with alcoholism. He was in and out of rehab and first of all, when, okay, so I think this is after like their first official date and they come back and they're about to kiss and then the ex-husband opens the door I hollered or he's actually not her ex yet which is another thing I'm like so you're not officially divorced that's something that's still a little bit iffy for me like you're not you're still married she's still married like <laughs> Let's call a spade a spade. Like, she's still married. So that was something that was just like, mm. but, woo! -ay! When the ex-husband opened the door, I hollered. And when the ex-husband and Tony were by themselves and he had the audacity to eat the cannoli, son. And they're going to take the coffee like you know me, bro? You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Uh, but I have to get back into my just one kiss uh, dialect. Yes, I thoroughly enjoy this movie. Five crowns all around. Five crowns all around. And the, oh gosh, the dedication at the end. Perfection. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else you would want me to say. Other than go watch the movie. 
It's not much to be said. But go watch the movie. I'll do it three times for the Holy Ghost. Not much to be said. Go watch it. Hallmark, thank you. Um, everyone and the cast and crew, thank you. That wardrobe, thank you. The writer, thank you. Cinematographer, director, thank you. Um, just thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, looks like my job here is done. Uh, probably gonna watch it again. But, um, yeah, this is Dear Hallmark. I don't even know if I said my name. Uh, I'm Dara, and... <sighs> so are you about to go watch the movie, or what? Like, what are we doing? with? If you want to know more about me and Dear Hallmark, it's in the description, but... Other than that, I'll talk to y'all when we talk about Always Amore. Ciao, my friends.